How, uh, how's the, the mood, David, this week? I mean, you've obviously had a, a week off as well. You've had a long time to think about this game. What's the kind of mindset at the moment? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a great week's training for everybody and kind of we're all feeling fresh um, after a wee break. Kind of <clears throat> getting into the game of the weekend, we're all looking forward to it. It's a bit of a weird one to have a fortnight, a fortnight off in March. So, I mean, have you had a lot of time to... Have you had almost too much time to prepare because given the game and the magnitude of it? Yeah, because um, usually we're kind of midweek and every weekend, so it's it's been different to that. Uh, we've just we've just trained well, really, kind of um, every day. Looking forward to the game at the weekend, as you said. Hmm. What do you and the players expect in terms of how this game is going to go? Given that the title is done and the way in which you played at Ibrox yet came away with nothing, how do you go into this in terms of your frame of mind? Um, we'll just. We'll treat it as any other game. Um, kind of done all the work leading up to it, and we know we know the way we can play as a team together. And um, we'll just go there looking, looking to get a result and play well as a team, and just push one hundred percent to get that. Do you feel you have a point to prove? Um, you could say that, uh, especially after the last game. Kind of, um, we played really well, and we, we unfortunately didn't get a result, but. We can take positives from that and can the other games we've played and um, we're going there with a point to prove, yeah. Is the biggest motivation then also, apart from that, to end Rangers' unbeaten run? Because they're obviously trying to match what Celtic did a few seasons ago and go unbeaten for the t- through the whole season. As I said, we just want to kind of uh, treat every game the same and we'll go into that, want to win as we do every game. and uh, At the weekend, that's what we're looking to do, to, to go get the win just as usual. <laughs> David, with the, the league obviously already being over, there is still the Scottish Cup. So for you guys, there's a sense in a way of building momentum for that to make, you know, to give you a chance of ending the season with something. Yeah, of course, we've still got the Scottish Cup. Um, kind of looking to take the, the next few games into that. Uh, and kind of do as well as we can in the Cup. That would be great, how far we could get and um, push for kind of silverware, as you said. Does that help with the motivation as well, that there is still something to play for with the league being over so early? Um, yeah, it'll kind of give us something else to look at as well, kind of um, focus on that a little and just just kind of try to get a run going in the cup and see how far we can go. David, in terms of the game against Rangers at the weekend, how vital... Uh, would a win or a positive result be for morale for the fans as well as the club too? Yeah, it'd be great to get the win. Um, obviously, I look into that every game, but it's it's kind of a big game. Everybody knows that, and you kind of want to win all of these. Um, so give everybody a boost and just kind of give us a momentum, kind of get into the end of the season and in the cup as we spoke about. David, you play in that um, number 10 role just behind the striker. Your own personal form has, has been impressive since you've come into the team, but, but the team struggled to, to score lately. I think it's only four in the last five, not scored against Rangers in either of the two games. Why do you think you are struggling to score? Is it creating chances or, or just not being clinical enough? No, I wouldn't. I'd say probably clinical enough. I think we've been creating a lot of chances. Um, Especially the last game we put against Dundee United, felt we created loads and um, we, we couldn't get seem to get that goal. So something we've kind of been working on, um, putting the ball in the net and just kind of hopefully can do that a lot more towards the end of the season. Can I just ask you about um, Steve Clark's Scotland squad? He named it midweek. Obviously, you weren't in. Was was there any disappointment there? Are, are you still hopeful of making the European Championships in the summer? Um, yeah, it was disappointing, but um, I just need to kind of work hard now and push and show um, what I can do. And obviously, it's manager's decision, so you, you just need to go on with it and you respect whatever whatever he does. But it'll kind of give me motivation to work harder and kind of try push for a place. Yeah. Did he speak you to you personally? Sorry, sorry, did he speak to you um, personally at all, Steve Clark? Um, yeah, Scott's the. Scottish FA, they kind of contacted me in the morning, just said it was unfortunate. So, um, just need to take that one in the chin, kind of just work hard and keep keep doing what I'm doing. 
Is that is that your personal target for the remainder of the season then, David, to, to get in the Scotland squad? I wouldn't say it's a target, but it's kind of something I'm looking towards, yeah. It'd be, a, it'd be a great bonus to be involved in any squad, um, whether that was this one or, or the Euros, as you said. Um, I'm just looking to keep doing what I'm doing at club level and create and score, whatever, uh, get the results of the team and um, we can look towards that after that. So you'd be looking to get a good run in the team for the rest of the Premiership season and also to get a good run in the Scottish Cup and get into the, the Scotland squad for the Euros? Yeah, that, that would be ideal if I could do, could, could do all of that. Um, uh, that. That would kind of top off um, a good end to the season for me and the team and then just kind of, as you said, if I, if I could break into that squad, it would be excellent. Do you think your own game has improved since coming to Celtic? Yeah, I'd say kind of every week I'm improving. Um, kind of the other side of the game as well. Um, that's that's what I've kind of been working on, just my reaction and kind of off the ball and stuff. Um, that's probably where I need to get better at and I feel I'm improving on that kind of every week.